got to turn it down, the volume. Kevin, you got to turn that down. Was you able to pull it up? Hey y'all, I'm here. How are you all? Come on in. Let's get cooking. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Miss Jean Watts. Y'all come on in and say hey. We got another go-to meal tonight. Easy peasy. I'm sure you all have had it. Hi, Miss Charlene. Come on, y'all. I see the numbers growing. I don't see your names. How are you all doing? It is a beautiful Saturday today. Hi, Miss Eva. Hi, Mayaya. All right. I got some rice on, y'all. And what I'm fixing this evening is some salmon croquettes. This is one of our go-to meals, okay? And I'm going to use a large can. Hi, Miss Gail Jackson. And I'm going to use a small can. Now, I really like to mix my pink and red, I don't have any red salmon tonight. And that's, it's all good. We're going to put these two together. Okay. Because I'm feeding five. I've drained off my liquid. I don't keep my liquid. Okay. Because I don't use it at all. Um, let's come on in here so y'all can see. Now I'm going to be looking at these comments, y'all, just to be sure. Hi, Miss Kenya. All right, so let's go ahead on and get started, okay? Because I don't want to keep y'all waiting. Nope. Okay, so two things. I'm making salmon croquettes, and I'm making cream-style corn, homemade, okay? Some people call it fried. I really call it cream because that's what my mother called it. We put milk in it and cook it down, and it is delicious, okay? Hi, Miss CB. I am so glad to see familiar names tonight, and hopefully we'll see some new ones. Hi, Miss Pora. Now, my daughter is saying she's on her way. She's in the room, y'all. Because <laughs> she's been sitting here waiting on these salmon cro croquettes, okay? They love salmon croquettes, so let's get started. I'm not going to wait any longer, and we're going to start with our salmon croquettes, but before we do, I want to show you our corn. 
this is seven cobs of corn that I cut off the cob. Okay, now I have one left that I just wanted to show y'all how I cut it off the cob. And you may know, you may know, but for those who don't, and these were small ears of corn. Let me show them to you. And this is the pan I was cutting them up in. So see how small they are? So what I've done, or what I do, is I take my knife, and you really kind of want to use a sharp knife for, for this, and I tell y'all all the time, my knives are not that sharp. But I had Calvin kind of sharpen it up for me a little bit. Because what you want to do is kind of take and cut that uh, just a little bit off at first. Like I, I want to say top layer, but you cut it off. And I know y'all can't really see. I'm cutting off right on the top. Okay, I'm not cutting all the way down. Cutting it right off the top. Okay, all the way around. And my knife is still is not as sharp as it should be, but that's okay. I work better with it not that sharp. And I'm just cutting off a little bit off the top, off the top. I'm going all the way around. Okay, and then when we get to the other side, when we finish going all the way around, we go down a little bit deeper to get the rest of it. So you kind of like cutting off half of it, okay? And then we go, go in and cut the rest of it off, okay? Just go around and cut the rest of it off. I'm kind of leaning on something here, y'all. My family loves cream corn. This is something I definitely got from my mother. She made her just a smidgen different. And once you take and get all the corn off, you just take and scrape it. So if there's any milk on it, you can get that milk off. Okay. Can y'all see? Take and get the milk. And that's basically it, y'all. Done. Let me get rid of this, put it with the rest of them. Okay. So that's how I get my corn off the cob. And I'm going to add this to the rest of it over here. The corn doesn't look all that great. My husband had, he had bought some where you have to shuck it. And they didn't look good at all. So then I got a package where I could actually see the corn. See what I'm buying. Okay. How are y'all doing today? Let's see, who do we have here? How are y'all doing on this beautiful Saturday? In this pan, we're going to fix our salmon croquettes. And let me show you back here. I have a pan with some salt pork. Okay, I, I just chipped it up. Okay, some long strands of, short, of salt pork. I better turn that rice down or burn it up. And I'm going to show you the salt pork that, that I use. See, they come in strips. They come all kinds of ways. These come in strips. Sometimes they have salt all over them, okay? And I just took several pieces and chipped them up, all right? That'll be for our corn. So let's get started on our salmon croquettes. already said I, I drained off the water at least most of it what I could get out of there okay there's my big fork and here it is and I'm sure y'all have seen 101 videos of salmon croquettes but like I said this is our 
go-to. We like this. With rice and corn. Now, why can't I get this out of here? Don't play. Okay. All right, we got it. Now, what I'm going to put in my salmon croquettes, and I'm going to tell you up front, if you haven't seen any of my videos, the first thing is I don't go through digging out bones. Okay? If I see that long bone, I'll pull it out. Okay? But I don't go through digging for bones. Now, see, if I, like I see these, I'll pull these out because they're there. But growing up making salmon croquettes, we didn't pull out anything. Everything in here is at the bowl. Everything. The bones are so soft, you take your fingers and you can mash them up. Okay? I did that for y'all. Because I don't do it. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me see if I can stop this. And I think I did. Yep. Okay. So I'm just breaking it down. Get this out your way so you can see. I'm breaking it down. I don't pull the black skin off or whatever that that is. Nothing. Everything stays in here. Now, if you want to take the time, pull your bones out, hey, knock yourself out. But I never do. Mash it up in here. You don't even know they're, that they're in here. Might give you a little calcium. Who knows? Okay. So what I'm going to add to this, I have a little bit of onions. I've, I already chopped them up and a very small bit of bell pepper. Okay. That's what I put in my salmon croquettes. And I don't know how long y'all have been watching me. I, I really don't use fillers. I do not. Now, um, if I'm making crab patties, I will put some crumbs in it. And that is to stretch those crab patties. Okay? That's to stretch those. But for my salmon croquette, I don't. And the reason why I don't is that I don't want the bread in it. I just want the salmon. Just want to taste the meat. All right, we're going to put one egg. You know an egg is for binder. Let's put our seasoning in, uh, in first. I'm going to put a smidgen of salt, just a smidge. And I mean a smidge. Some black pepper. And we can be getting this grease hot too, huh, y'all? Let's put that here. Let's put some grease in here. We're not deep frying them pan frying them. Okay. I put just, just a little bit more, enough to wet the bottom of the pan. All right. And we're going to drop this egg. Sometimes when I make two cans, two full cans, I will put in two eggs. I'm going to see how this works with this here. And I, the egg is, is a binder, and I also put in a little bit of flour. Okay? A little bit. And that works as a binder, too. If I didn't have to put the, egg, uh, the flour in there, I wouldn't. All right. I'm not going to put too much flour because I don't want to make them dry. I don't like dry salmon croquettes. This is two tablespoons here. I'm going to use half of this. Yep. That's about it. Let's see what it looks like. See, simple. I didn't put in all of my seasoning, y'all. Y'all ain't even tell me. This is Old Bay. All right, I'm going to put in a smidgen of all-purpose, per give them some taste, give them some taste, not much. 
and a smidgen of onion powder. Smidge. Okay, that's it. Don't have to overdo it unless you just like food that is really, really, really seasoned. Over seasoned, I call it. But, you know, we all have different taste buds. All right. And that's how simple my salmon croquettes are. All right. So what I do is I make them all up at one time. Let's get rid of the trash, Carrie. I make them all up at one time. So then all I have to do is drop, all right? And if this is a little bit too dry for you, you know, if you had kept your juice, you could add it back, back in. I don't, this is fine, all right? Let me get some gloves here. We're gonna put those patties together. Are y'all with me? Hi, Sharon. Miss Sharon Red. All right. Where's everybody tonight? It's a beautiful day. I guess they're out there in the streets. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. Turn on this grease. Let's get these made up. And I make mine small. I like small because I like them to cook really good on the inside. So I make them small. See? Very, very small. That's that. That's simple. Y'all tell me what y'all put in your salmon croquettes. Y'all awake? Tell me what you put in your salmon croquettes because I know everybody makes them different. And we usually get two a piece out of these, sometimes a little bit more. And now before I put them in a pan, I will sprinkle them with a little bit of flour to help with the browning. And as soon as I get these in a pan, we'll get that corn going. That corn doesn't take long at all. Almost there. All right. So now these are ready to go. Okay. We're going to put some flour on them. Hi, Miss Marva. Hi, Miss. Is that Kathy? Oh, you've never made uh, salmon croquettes? Easy, easy peasy. Very easy and a quick meal. Okay, let's get some flour on here. And y'all know once I dump my hand in there, I won't be able to get a little raggedy dish here. And we're just gonna put a little bit of flour, just, just sprinkle a little bit, okay? Okay, so you make yours the same way, Miss Gail. This is your first live, Miss Marva? 
All right, I'm just waiting on that, that oil. I got it on, and I'm going to take and just sprinkle these with some flour. And then kind of beat it off. You just want you just want a little bit. Okay. Just a smidgen. And we let them cook slow. That grease should, should be getting hot any minute. And you can take and spoon them into, into the pan as well. But I like to do it this way. I guess y'all say that that's some small salmon croquettes. Yep. Because if I make them big, they're going to eat two. If I make them small, they're going to eat two. So it doesn't matter. This way, <laughs> they're not eating as much. <laughs> and it stretches. See, it's, a, it's all a mind thing. All right, let's see what that grease is doing. It's not there yet, but it's getting there. It's okay, it's giving me time to kind of mess that one up, but it's all good. Cause you're going, you're going in the pot. I think I already got that one. Okay, looks like our grease is getting hot. I don't know if I have you turn towards the pan. Nope. Let's get in there. I don't want to touch. Let's see, can we do this with our arm? No. Yes, there we go, y'all. Hey, Miss Yvette Jones. Hey, Miss Half Curly. How are you all doing? The grease is not exactly where we need it, but it's okay, it's gonna get there. Don't worry about it. And I'm going to go ahead on and drop them. They don't want to hold together, but it's all good. It's all good. I probably could have put another egg in here, y'all. But it'll be fine. Coming along. Does everybody put flour on their croquettes before they fry them? It's fixing to pick up in a minute and then we'll turn it down. Now I put bell peppers in here. I, I should have chopped them up even more because I don't like them to be real crunchy. Okay. Get one more in there. All right. Let's just go ahead and fix these up so that they'll be ready to go. We'll get two more out of these. Two small ones. y'all they'll be ready to go in let's get started on this corn
turn this fire down so we can focus on this corn. Not worry about burning these up. And like I said, I cook these kind of slow. I don't I don't fast cook them because I want them to be done. Okay, what's going on? Let's see. Hi, Miss Tammy. Hi, Miss Patricia Howard. Okay, back here in this pan with uh, the salt pork in it, I'm going to add a little grease. Smidgen of grease. I'm cooking my salmon cro croquettes on a medium, okay? But we're going to add just a little grease to get this salt pork started. And we're going to turn that on. Do you all make cream corn or fried corn? Hi, Devin. Oh, Miss Cat Catherine says they're they're good on hamburger buns. <laughs> yeah, we like. I don't know. I grew up eating them with when my mother would fix these. It was always corn and rice. I don't know what was up with that, but that's still the way we eat them. Sometimes she would open up canned corn if it was like on a Friday, or sometimes she would make her cream corn. And boy, could she make that cream corn. Yes, she did. that she would always have with her um, cream corn was biscuits. She, she always made a pan of biscuits to go with her cream corn. Gonna let that cook just, just a little bit and then we're gonna add our corn in here, y'all. Hi, Miss the lowest. Hi, Miss Tammy. My screen is small, is it? Oh, hit that, hit that square on your phone. It should open it up. Cause my screen is normal. Okay, so look, look at that, y'all. Okay, got a little color on it. That, that's all you need. Okay. And now we're fixing to put our corn in here and show you how quick, quick that corn is to make. But I'm also, I need to flip these, um, we need to flip the salmon croquette, so let's do, do that, okay? Let's flip them. I, I use two forks. It's just easier for me. I don't splash grease. Can y'all see those? See, they're cooking even a little fast for me, so I turn them down a little bit. Got them between a medium and a low. I don't want them to cook fast. You want to tear apart. That's what you want to do. 
and it helps to keep them together when you use two forks. Okay, that's our croquettes. Let's keep it moving back here with this corn. All right, there we go. Let's drop the corn. And I got a pretty good bit of corn because they love this stuff. And we usually don't have any left. So I added a couple of ears. Okay, so what I do when I put my corn in here, I'm just gonna let it just fry a little bit, okay? Just, just a little bit before I do anything else. With that salt pork. Okay. Just let that cook a little bit. Turn it up. Oh, good. It worked. Rice biscuits and syrup, Miss Gail. I don't know that I've ever had rice biscuits. I see, um, hi Latika, hi ML Washington. I know y'all can already see what we're cooking. Stir from the bottom, because if you got a pan like me, this old pan, it likes to stick a little bit, so just check on it. Okay, the only thing we're going to put in this cream corn, um, at some point we'll add butter at the end. We're going to put in some, a, a smidgen of sugar after we taste it, okay, because corn normally is sweet. It's normally sweet, okay, so I don't like to put a whole lot of sugar. And we're going to put some whipping cream and a little regular milk. I'm going to mix them. Okay. Just going to give it a few more minutes there to do its thing. Salmon croquettes are doing fine. Yep, they're doing good. Now they're cooking slow, the way I like it. Y'all ever had the cream corn in the can? It ain't got nothing on this. Nope. Okay, I'm going to measure out one cup. I'm going to put three-fourth cups of heavy whipping cream, and I'm going to put one-fourth cup of regular milk. Now, my mother always fixed it with regular milk. We didn't know anything about no heavy whip, whipping cream. She used regular milk, so what she would do is add a little bit of flour and water to it, okay, to kind of thicken it up. But I find if I use that heavy whipping cream, I don't have to do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a little bit of salt, just a smidge, okay, a little bit of pepper, Stirring from the bottom because this old pan here, it likes to catch my food. 
Okay, let's pour in our milk. Let's see. Remember, I have three fourth cups of heavy whipping cream and one fourth cup of regular milk. Mm. Yes, sir. And we're gonna let this cook a little bit. Doesn't need to cook long. You just want that milk to kind of thicken up in there. Make it all creamy. And I'm gonna taste it to see how much cheese we need, okay? Now, if you wanna add other seasonings, you can. I like the corn. I don't want anything else in here. So I've turned it up just a little bit to let it do just what it's doing. Let's check these salmon croquettes. They are basically done. I'm flipping them one more time, y'all. I use more milk than I normally use because I use more corn tonight. But it's going to cook down. It will cook down. Let me taste it and see how much uh, sugar we need. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's sweet, y'all. Mm hmm. I'm going to add a little bit of sugar. I see it's still a little crunchy. So I want it to soften up just a little bit. It's, it's going to keep a little crunch. But I want it to so soften up just a little bit more. Just a little bit. You get a plate for those croquettes. get that sugar. Let's get some sugar. Okay. okay, this might be, I don't even want that much. This might be a tablespoon that I just put in there. And I add just just a smidgen more. That's it. That's all. Cause like I said, it's already sweet, y'all. Let me turn that rice off. See how that water of uh, water, how that milk is cooking down into that corn. That's cream corn, y'all. Mmm. I'm going to get these croquettes out. Yes, Miss Miss Pora, I have eaten cream corn out of the can on rush nights. I haven't eaten it in many, many years out of the can, but I have. Okay, let's take out these croquettes. Can y'all see them? Mm-hmm. See y'all, another quick meal. Another quick meal.
Just taking out these little crumbs so they won't burn up. See, it's slowly drying out, slowly cooking out of there. Look, look at that. Now, you don't want to cook it all out because you want the cream, right? Cream corn. Let's put a little bit more black pepper in there. Because black pepper is good on corn. Okay, I'm going to give that a, another couple of minutes and it will be ready because you don't need to let that cook long. No, no. I'm going to put these, you know what, I should just take this and make it one big one. I think that's what I'm going to do. Make it one big one. Somebody's going to eat it. And I got that last salmon uh, croquette cooking extremely slow. What y'all think about that cream corn? I'm turning it off. That's how simple it is. Someone said that they've never made it. Well, this is how simple cream corn is. That's it. That is it. Look, look at that. Let me sh show y'all that. Look at that cream corn. You see, we still have the cream. See that? This is good stuff, y'all. And if you want to get ambitious, you make you some biscuits to go beside it. I don't feel that ambitious tonight. Let me show y'all these croquettes. Hey, y'all. Croquettes. See how small they are? Yeah. On purpose. Don't they look good? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Rebuddy. Oh, it's your first time, Miss Kathy? I think I already asked you that. Well, I hope you come back. Okay? I hope you come back. Yes. I don't do many lives. I'm trying to do them every Saturday. I'm trying. And one more time for the cream. And remember, we got little pieces of salt pork in here. Oh, y'all know what I didn't put in was my butter. Y'all didn't tell me. My butter, my butter. I got to put some butter in that corn. Okay, it ain't going to be corn without butter. Let me get another piece. I'll use this kind here. Let's turn around to the corn. We ain't put no butter in the corn, y'all. I put one little piece in. And I'm gonna put this stuff here, this Kerrygold butter. I still don't like it as much as I like Lando Lakes, y'all. Okay, now we have our butter. I'm gonna just take and stir that butter up in there. It will melt. 
this is still really hot. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for joining me. I didn't get an opportunity to, to look at all of the um, comments, and I'm sorry. Sometimes I'm, I'm really focused in on this stove. It depends on what I'm cooking. If it's something that I can take my eyes off of, I'll do that and get my forks for this um, one croquette that wouldn't fit into the pan. But it's all good. So I hope you all enjoyed this live. I like what you are cooking. Well, thank you. Did I speak to you, Miss Cynthia Joyce? How are you? Another familiar name. I, name. I love it. I love it. Hi, Miss Sherry. I don't like the butter either, but some YouTubers say it's good. It's not as good. Look, Lando Lakes unsalted butter is, is my thing. Now, if, and, and if I'm baking, I don't, I don't veer away from uh, Lando Lakes. I use that. This Kerrygold, since I have it, it is actually my second time purchasing it. Because I tried that other one, too, and I don't remember. It was another weird one. Um, yeah. Not as good. Not as good. Hi, Miss Fran. I am fine. Thank you. <clears throat> so what are y'all fixing tonight? What are you having? Come on, talk to me. Oh, you are welcome, Miss L, Miss ML Washington. Is anybody cooking tonight? Come on, folks, give Carrie some more thumbs up. Yes, yes, please. Oh, we, we just had pizza. That sounds good. That sounds really good. We don't have any good pizza joints around here where, where we live, so. Hot dogs. All right, we had Frank's last night. Mm-hmm, sure did. Don't care, care, I love it on toast. I buy it ever since a while experience, okay. All right, y'all. Well, I appreciate you as always, as always. I appreciate you. And I'm sorry, I there are a few people on here that has been joining my lives uh, in the morning. Um, Tuesday and Friday is the plan. Yesterday I was not here. And I, I am, I apologize, okay? I was tired. Mm-hmm. And still had to finish the other half of the house. So I was exhausted. All right. We had two two snaps of cold days here. Two snaps. So I couldn't get out there and finish the windows uh, that I started on Tuesday. So I finished them up yesterday. Was your corn fresh or frozen? No, ma'am. My corn was fresh. And I showed, um, you, you might have been a little late. But I showed uh, how I cut up, how I cut the corn off of one. See all those ears in there? Fresh corn. Yes. Now, I don't know if you can use frozen. I imagine you can. I don't know. I've never tried to use uh, fresh, I'm, I'm sorry, frozen or can in my cream corn. But it's, it's easy to cut it off of the uh, cob. It's, it's really, really easy. And it's a lot better. Okay. My mother is blind, but she loves listening. Oh, well, thank you, Miss Fran. Tell your mother, thank you. I got that old vo voice because I got an old soul. My mother was old. She was, she was really old. So I just kind of grew up old. I was the oldest girl, so you know. It, it, yeah. <laughs> well, y'all, thank you. Sent, huh? Fresh yeah, I, I just told her it was fresh. And Miss Tammy, go go back and watch the beginning when I go off of here. Um, you and and, and it wasn't the best demonstration because because I was kind of turned away, but I did explain what I did with with the corn on the cob, the fresh corn on the cob. Okay. 
and we're getting ready to get into this as always now i will have a sunday's video up tomorrow i might have two one in the morning because i did one several weeks ago before calvin went into the hospital i never posted it okay so i will probably have that posted in the morning it's a good one y'all a good sunday's meal and then i'll probably have another one tomorrow evening that i'm actually going to cook tomorrow so y'all check the those out okay all right and if y'all didn't check out my um that last cake I made, um, I'm sorry, Miss Rhoda, you was late. We did salmon croquettes and homemade cream corn. Okay, um, I forgot what I was saying, y'all. Ain't that a shame? Ain't that a Oh, uh, the cake. I made a, a cream cheese pound cake with a caramel uh, glaze on it. Check it out if you haven't. It's, it's, it's an excellent cake. Okay. In fact, I heard my husband say he wants to call it cow's cake. Do you cook beef neck bones? That's funny you ask. I do. I do. I was thinking tomorrow not about beef neck bones, but about some shanks. And a lot of times when I make shanks, mm -hmm. I will add beef neck bones in them to kind of stretch the pot. Okay. But yeah, I do make those and I, I'll make them soon for you. I, so in fact, I have a video out there with uh, beef neck bones. Mm-hmm. Might have two out there. Anything you want to see that and you don't know if, if I've done a video, go in and put in Carrie's Cozy Kitchen. Hi, Mahalia. Catch you live. Glad, Calvin. Thank you. Um, Just go in and put in... Carrie's Cozy Kitchen, and let's say you want to see a chocolate cake. Carrie's Cozy Kitchen chocolate cake. Um, but whatever you want to see after my name, okay, and it should come up. You might get two or three of, of, of different videos, okay? All right. So y'all enjoy the rest of your evening. I thank you so much for joining me today. I will be back uh Tuesday morning. Promise, promise. Thank you. I will be back, okay? And I know a lot of y'all work, so it's okay. <laughs> but I will be back, and I look forward to seeing all of y'all. Enjoy the rest of your evening, all right? Bye-bye, y'all.